All right, friends, good day to you. It's um, Monday, September 27th, 2021. And uh, I'm Alan Bevere, the pastor at Ashland First United Methodist. And I'm Dan Reham, the coordinator of Family and Youth. All right, so here we are, the last few days of September, beginning October on Friday. I don't know how it's almost October already. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, but it's been, the weather's been really nice. And uh, I'm loving it. It feels like fall. It feels like best season. Have a good time. Well, fall's officially here. So, so it is. So let's, uh, let's get into the calendar. Uh, Tomorrow, uh, weekly scripture begins at 10 o'clock at uh, downtown Perk, 10 to 11, led by uh, retired pastor Roger Moore. And he will be doing five to seven weeks. Uh, We'll see how it plays out near the end, but on the book of James. And that's also a hybrid, so it's also via Zoom, and I will be sending out a Zoom link uh, here probably today at some point, and by email, but also uh, uh, posting it uh, on on Facebook and sending it out to the other churches. So that's happening tomorrow morning. Uniontown Bible Study is still on hiatus, and it will begin Tuesday night, October 12th. So that's yet a couple of weeks away. And that will be a four-week study in the Book of Ruth, led by Reverend Kyle Gould, who is the pastor at Christ United Methodist Church. So that's Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we have prayer respite from 11 to noon in the sanctuary. So if you want to just take some time to um, pray, the sanctuary will be open, and some of us will be in there. Um, So we'd love to see you there. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Tell us about Harvest Festival coming up. Yeah, so that is, what do we say? That's October 16th. October right? 16th. So October 16th. 11 to 2. And that's going to be in partnership with some area churches here. Yeah. And we're really excited for it. We're going to have, yeah. um, people can uh, bring pots of chili in or crock pot chili. So if you're interested in bringing one, um, we'll have baked goods. We'll have some pumpkin paintings for the kids and some photo booths and a trunk or treat. We're setting up. And are we, are the kids dressing up? Are we encouraging that or not? Yes. Remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you want to dress up and then we'll have some photo booths, you can take pictures together. Oh, that's why you have um, photo booths. Yeah, yeah. That makes perfect sense. Okay. So yeah, we're really I'm excited for that. To that. It'll be and fun. Hopefully if we have a day like today, it'll be perfect, it'll be perfect for yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing that we're going to do. Uh, the other thing that's coming up is a woman's small group. We are trying to work on our small group ministries. And so, uh, on Thursday evenings, uh, beginning October 7th, from 6 to 7.30, will be a small group that will be facilitated by Brenda Harper, our administrator here, and also our lay servant. She is a lay servant with the conference. Um, the meeting on the 7th will be kind of organizational and, and just getting everybody's ducks in a row. But then starting the following Thursday, uh, we'll begin the small group, and they're doing 12 women from the Bible. So uh, if, for, so women, if you want to know which 12 women, come on out. And uh, I think that's really a good opportunity. So uh, if you are interested in that, call the church office uh, and uh, let Brenda know of your interest. But I'm excited about that. There's some other stuff, some other small group stuff on the horizon, but it hasn't been announced yet. Okay, so that's what's going on there. All right. Well, Sermon Sunday. So Sunday is World Communion Sunday. And I'm going to go off lectionary. uh, And uh, I've chosen some of my own texts. They're all. And for me, uh, I think when I think of communion, uh, one of the things that I do is think of hospitality and fellowship. Because the, the table is really a table of hospitality. We invite all to the table. Um, in the Methodist tradition, um, we, we invite all to the table. And uh, anyone who is earnestly seeking is welcome to come as well. Uh, we do. Uh, and if we have someone coming to the table who's earnestly seeking, but who has not been baptized, then one of the things that I do as a pastor, encourage them to make that next step. Uh, so it's about hospitality. It is about communion and fellowship. And uh, so uh, I think that's what we're going to I'm going to talk about Sunday, the hospitality of the table. That's not the title of the sermon. Title of the sermon is watery soup and strong coffee. So if you're interested in finding more about watery soup and strong coffee, come and come and join us Sunday, either in person or online. All right. Now, 
Daniel, what is on your mind today? Um, that's a good question. I think I've been thinking a lot about prayer. Mm -hmm. um, in, in part because Lindsay and I have this prayer class coming yeah. up, which actually our first one is this Sunday on Zoom. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've just been thinking a lot about prayer. I've been reading quite a bit about prayer and different mm -hmm. people and what they have to say about it. And just thinking about um, just like the contemplative practices yeah. and what it looks like just to, because it's easy to, I think, get so focused on doing mm -hmm. and the things we have to get done and our, you know, mm -hmm. to-do lists. And it can, it takes time to be able to say, I need to slow down. I need to stop. I need to rest and just acknowledge the presence of God here. Yeah. Um, I think especially as build the work in ministry, it can be easy to think a lot of the job focuses on what we do. And uh, yeah. it can be easy to forget to just stop and yeah. eat. Yeah. Yeah. And when we need to do that in Jesus, you know, I, I thought, I think to myself that, that, you know, if Jesus had to take time to get away to pray, mm -hmm. then so do the rest of us. Yeah. Right. I mean, if Jesus needed it, so do we. And it was right when the crowds start looking for him. Right. When, yeah. Right. When people needed Jesus, Jesus is like, actually, I'm going to go pray. Yeah. And the task is not to fit prayer into our schedule. Yeah. But to make it part of the schedule. Yeah. Part of the routine. Good. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm well, I'm, I think your prayer, you and Lindsay are, I think the prayer thing is going to be great. Yeah. So I know we're excited for it. Yeah. All right. Well, on that note, why don't you pray? pray. All right. All right. Thanks. Well, Lord, we just thank you for, um, for this week and for all that you have in store for us this week. We thank you for the stay and we ask you to just bless, um, the minutes and the hours and help us just to keep our focus on you. And, um, instead of just trying to find time or to squeeze you in, Lord, that we would, we would make communion with you a priority. That would be the heartbeat of our life. Lord, we pray that you would just help us to know you more and to love you more and to represent you well in all that we do. Amen. Amen. All right, friends, have a great day.